This is the greatest water in all of New York coming into this house. So this is the first property tour that we've ever done where I feel like you might actually need GPS to follow us along. Uh, and I need a personal driver and a really, really cool golf cart to even get me to the house. So uh, Ben, can you uh, yeah. take me to the house? That'd be great, thanks. All right, thank you. It's a lot of house. All right. Welcome to 111 Meeting House Road. It's just over 22,000 square feet. In the main house, across three luxurious levels, there's nine formal bedrooms and 19 bathrooms. Covered three-car garage here. There's a carriage house, there's a pool house, four acres of land, some of the most amazing landscaping I've ever seen. Let's get to it. Let's go to the entry foyer. This is gonna blow your mind. about an entry. First of all, like there's a foyer space that's right there that leads into the main foyer, which is the size of like some houses. You've got the double height ceiling. You've got these incredibly beautiful ceiling panels. And if you look all the way up, you see that the ceiling paneling has these reveals. Those reveals are the air conditioning. Some places have linear diffusers, which you'll also see, but like that's the level of detail in this house that we're talking about. Also, thinking about living here, this massive chandelier, very heavy chandelier that's hanging here in the middle of the entry foyer is on a controller. So you can bring this all the way down so you can change out the light bulbs really easily without having to build a whole scaffolding. And this is one of those really, really cool moments. Amazing entryway staircase. And what you'll see is there's two themes right now with the interiors. Everything in this house is specific. Okay. Everything in this house has been completely designed with purpose. Not a single lampshade is by accident. So you'll see penguins and you'll see leaves. So just keep your eye out as we're going through. Actually, leave it in the comments how many penguins you see during this entire tour. All right, we might give a prize to someone who wins it. And now that we're at the beginning, if you like this video, if you like these property tours, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, send this to all your friends. We love it. Entry foyer. You're also gonna see a lot of incredible art. This is a Louise Nevelson. You're gonna see two of these. Feel free to Google it. Follow me into the formal living area. Now this is a house that was built for entertaining, having events. You can have 400, 500 people here comfortably. And not just on the inside, there's so much exterior square footage that's part of the deck space that you could have weddings here and there have been major weddings. You could entertain ambassadors here and all the ambassadors have been here. I'm gonna show you their secret wing where they sleep. It's pretty wild. But look at the detail, like the ceiling detail you have in here, all the different reveals, the moldings. And again, look at the furniture, look at the rug. This carpet, okay, this rug was cut specifically for this room and you're gonna see that in all 10,000 rooms I'm about to show you. Gorgeous marble fireplace. I love the black fire brick in a chevron pattern. Little details like that I think are really, really, really cool. I love this train. There's amazing significance to that. And one of my favorite rooms in the whole house is right over there, but I'm not gonna show it to you yet because there's two wings here, okay? Three floors, lower level of all entertaining where we are now has three bedrooms and lots of entertaining space, the main kitchen, living rooms, bar, fun stuff. And then upstairs, we've got an additional six bedrooms, lots and lots of bathrooms and outdoor space. But I wanna show you the conservatory. So this is where you bring people out for weddings. You've got three separate sets of French doors. Your conservatory, marble floors, light all the way around and in the ceiling. Okay, so you've got amazing natural light here. This is great for dinners, great for parties. You've got this glass floor here, which I'm gonna show you, allows natural light to go downstairs into your indoor pool. And the pool is an identical shape 
of this conservatory, which if you count the sides is an octagon. And I know you can kind of see outside a little bit, but I don't want to give any of that away yet. We've got a lot more inside the house to get to. Welcome to the bar and lounge. Now, what you'll notice is that the palette of the materials in this part of the house changes. Most everywhere in the house, we've got light colors, we've got creams, we've got light grays. And here, we've got this amazing millwork that is all created out of black ceruced oak. Also notice, there's a lot of TVs here. Second contest, try to count how many TVs you see as we go through this 22,000 square foot mansion in the Hamptons. Put them in the comments, we might send a prize to someone who wins. This bar blows my mind. First of all, it is so perfect. Like every little glass, all the organization, even of the Evian water that is in these glasses that are engraved. This table, I was told, is the most significant piece of furniture here. I don't know how I totally believe that because there's a lot of crazy furniture here, but then this is your tasting table because in every bar and every house, you need a tasting table that is just like this. It is pretty awesome. We got a staircase over here to take us down to the lower level of fun. There's a ballroom here. There's a room specifically just for dancing and there's a theater downstairs, but follow me. This is the library. Hangout room, another TV, gorgeous mantle, and like any library, you've got lots and lots and lots of books. You have a covered porch, and then you have a wraparound exposed porch out to the garden space, which is super, super cool. There's photos of like a lot of famous people, dignitaries, everything. Really, really, really cool. And then I wanna show you something secret. Look at this. I I'm telling you, they spared no expense in this house. This blended in to the millwork is, and you're gonna see yourself for a second, is a private hidden powder room. And it's all made out of the same black ceruced oak. Super, super cool. I just think it's such a sexy powder room. It's a beautiful bathroom, and I love great bathroom design. Oftentimes, in houses that are of this size, owners will spend so much money on the landscaping, and then once they get to the interiors, like they start to cheap out or they'll spend a lot of money just on these interiors and then they cheap out on the landscaping and then the bathrooms are just you know white tile on white marble because they gave up right there's a lot remember this house has 19 bathrooms 11 full bathrooms and eight half bathrooms that's a lot of design and they are all specific they're all different they've all got their own themes they really took their time and they really, like I said, they spared no expense in coming up with the most beautiful bathrooms I've ever seen, especially in the Hamptons. Now, this is one of these round rooms and you'll see them a lot in this house where you have a lot of different options. It's almost like pick a door. Like I would sit here all the time with this massive lamp behind me on this pink circular couch and just make decisions about my life. I would just think, like, what door do I go into now? Behind this door are our first two bedrooms. Behind that door is an elevator. Wanna see the elevator? It's actually really cool. All right, hit it. This is a really, really big house. Nice wood paneling, kind of really, really cool little leather tufted seats you can sit on. Kids love it, right? If you have a house this big, you definitely need an elevator. And I love good themed bedrooms. So right behind you is the blue room, and then here is the yellow room. You've got your own porch, you're looking out into the beautiful greenery, the landscaping, really high ceilings, fan, great closet space, and it's yellow, right? You got a yellow theme, yellow drapes, you've got a yellow headboard, and look at this bathroom. Yellow and gold themed and huge. Like this is the guest bathroom to end all guest bathrooms. And the ceilings are insane. Shower, toilet, you are good to go. And before we get to the other wing of the house, here, remember, you have big events here, have lots of people, all the bedrooms have their own suite bathrooms, but you also kind of need like, quote unquote, public or communal bathrooms for everybody. So you have a woman's bathroom, and then you have a men's bathroom. And you know it because just like we were at a convention center, right? You've got the M here, 
so you know. And just take, take, yeah, let's see this bathroom. Take a look. Really, really, really cool. Great sink. But look at this toilet, like from the future. Like look at the base. Look how cool that is. And there is a urinal. It's not often that we show property that has urinals in them in the men's room, but when you have 19 bathrooms, you know, you can have a little bit of fun. Now we're gonna go to the other side of the main floor. And remember, this one floor is almost 9,000 square feet. So come on, let's go. Now, first up on our right, our formal dining space. Two separate tables. This is great for Shabbat dinner. The owners are Jewish, as you can tell from things like the washing station. Take a look at this. They even have the prayer in both Hebrew and written out so Gentiles like myself could repeat it while washing before dinner on Friday nights. I love this room. It is so comfortable and yet so beautiful. The furniture is so perfect. Right behind me through these great doors is a covered porch. In the summer, spring, fall, when the weather's nice, this is where you spend a lot of your time, just kind of hanging out, bringing the outdoors in. I just think this is so crazy. And this distance right here across the whole back of the house on this first floor is just massive. You see how big this space is. Remember, this is just over 22,000 square feet. And now where we are, is the round room that takes us to all the different rooms on this side of the house. If you remember, this identical piece of furniture was on the other side. You can actually see it. You see it all the way down there. So you know, right? So you know. Right here behind us is our basically eating kitchen. This is our breakfast room. We've got collectibles here. Bonus points to anyone who can tell me who creates these plates. And there are a lot of them. Leave them in the comments. Again, great outdoor space. And now, follow me to the kitchen. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Look at this, look at this. You have a dog. Right here is the doggy shower, or cat shower, or grandchild shower. Dog's water, food is in here, hose them down if they're playing outside. It's like, obviously you have that. Okay, now you can follow me to the kitchen. Now the kitchen, is really, really, really big, but it's also separated in a couple different ways. So this is our prep kitchen. Now these owners keep kosher, so you'll see lots of different sinks. We've got two Turbo Chef ovens. I've never actually seen one of these before, but like this is industrial grade and there's two of them. You can cook a frozen pizza in like freaking seconds. Another formal oven, microwave, lots and lots of storage space. And so if you like to entertain, and if you like to even just cook, you can keep everything here. You can keep the mess in the back because there's sliding doors everywhere so that you don't have, you know, stuff happening where your guests are, or where even the kids are. And if you come through this door, the kitchen then continues. You've got your third sink, you've got your coffee maker, you've got your toasters, your microwaves, lots and lots of storage. We've got great dishwasher drawers over here. So you've always got space to clean. And then on top of all the extra storage of pantry space and refrigerators and freezers, one thing that I think is super cool because this is eat-in, right? Is if you look here, especially if you have kids, they come here, maybe they put their iPad here and you've got a TV, a flat screen that is built in low so that kids can watch TV here and then you mom or dad you've got your tv over here and you've got the news on like they've really thought of everything now that for the most part is the entire first floor of this house if you follow me we're going to go upstairs and i'm going to show you the bedrooms Now there's three different staircases, but I just really like this staircase. So let's go upstairs where we have the primary suite. That is one of the biggest you're ever gonna see. We've got five additional bedrooms, plus a massage room, plus a media room and more. So come on. So your guest bedroom wing and family wing is connected by this amazing, amazing atrium with these gorgeous skylights. You have such amazing sunlight that comes through here. It's super cool formal media room. This could be another bedroom if you need 10 bedrooms, but this is a media room slash gaming room. It's got its own bathroom, great storage. You can totally close this off. 
really, 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 really cool. And then remember downstairs, we have those pink circular sofas. Here, we've got the same sort of setup. We've got this circular room, and then we've got this see-through floor that allows natural light from this skylight to come down. And then we've got this bad boy. So this is really, really, really cool. Uh, this is certified. This is C3PO. And I just think this is awesome that you have here. I don't even know what else to say about this. I just think it's awesome. We've got more bedrooms. We've got a whole separate guest apartment over there. But what I wanna show you right now is right behind us, we have a really, really cool secondary bedroom with its own room just for a bathtub. Please. First off, this room is just really, really, really big. Massive bedroom. The proportions are huge. You've got great windows, great light, great big bed, huge ceilings. But follow me through these curtains. This is really cool. Through these curtains, you have a room specifically for taking a bath because that's what's important. You need it. And you know I love a good floating bathtub. And not only is this room just for taking a bath, this room is for enjoying the volumetric square footage that you have in the ceiling height. This amazing light fixture, by the way. Holy moly. You've got great, 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 great light. You have your own private porch here. You have a bathtub party. You could. And then, because kids can sleep here, you can hang out. You have one TV here, and then you have another TV over there where you can just kind of hang out and, you know, take a bubble bath, watch TV. Like, it's just, this house has things that I didn't even think of in my entire career that houses might have. Just take a moment of reflection to think about that. All right, now let's go see the primary suite. Don't forget, there's a whole Crestron system throughout the whole house. Obviously, it's a smart house, and there are cameras everywhere. The security system here is insane. There's a panic room, which I can't really show you, but this place is like Fort Knox, and, and probably stronger. Look at this art, though. There's a lot of beautiful, beautiful art here. We saw it downstairs, but this is a really, really famous artist who takes this paper, writes these stories in Korean, bundles them all up really, really, really tight, and then puts them together to create these massive pieces. I think this is one of the last ones that he did personally. I can't even imagine the process of making this. And it's huge. I mean, it's like eight feet by six feet. I mean, it's just massive. So if you have great art, or if you have a client who has great art, this house is perfect for art and showcasing all the art that you have in the Hamptons. But now, remember the living room, remember the library, remember the bar, remember all that outdoor space? All that stuff is identical in size to what you're about to see in the primary suite. The primary suite is massive, okay? Private outdoor space. It has dual walk-in closets, dual bathrooms, multiple toilets, by the way, and dual home offices. Now we've got the matching glass floor here that, by the way, is so heavy, they had to suction cup it with a crane to get it over the balconies and to actually get it in here so it could sit, so you could bring all that natural light from this skylight downstairs. This art here is pretty insane because it kind of plays with your mind a little bit. The sculpture, and it kind of like looks like it's 3D and it is. But the art here is just mind-boggling. Behind us, through this arch doorway, takes us into the bedroom. Gorgeous marble mantle, huge TV, looking out over the backyard. We haven't even gotten to any of the outdoor space yet. The ceilings are really, really, really beautiful. That's a silver leaf. Look at this glass chandelier. Can't even imagine the process of hanging all of those different glass flutes that are curved to be perfect there. Massive bedroom, great space, great covered porch space, all the outdoor space. And then we've got all the bonuses. So let's do his, hers, his, hers. Let's do hers first. So on her side, you've got the nighttime toilet and sink. You then have the purple dressing area. This is not the closet. This is just the dressing area, the staging area, the thinking area, the office. You can get some work done in here, but 
lots and lots and lots of multifaceted uses for this. And then you've got this amazing, amazing bathroom. You've got another sink, more and more space, this walk-through shower, all of this light looking out over the front courtyard. Look at this shower. I mean, come on. Floating tub, and then another vanity with great, great, great storage space. But you know, I'm not done, you keep coming, keep coming. And then last but not least, you've got the nighttime toilet, as you do. Now, say hello to Cody Boone, because there's no way that we can't not see Cody here. This is the fun room, the mirrored room. This is where you come and you decide which way you wanna go, because there are doors in this room that you just can't see. So, if you come behind here, Bum, 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 bum. We're back into the dressing room. And if you go over here, ah, secret, secrets abound. You go into the walk-in closet and makeup area. And that's just her side. Wait till you see his side. Let's start with his office. We've got a nice masculine feel to it. We've got these dual desks with probably the best view in the house, looking out over the back gardens and the hedges and the pool and the pool house. You've got a dome ceiling, there's another TV. We've got matching mill work to downstairs, remember? And then through the office, we go through into his bathroom. We've got a tile floor that's mosaic that is built into the floor to look like a carpet. Big shower, toilet, lots of storage space. And then we've got his closet, which is very rich, very luxurious. These walls are insane. And I really feel like I'm in a Ralph Lauren store. Like so much storage, everything's super cool. We've got leather poles. It's really, really, really cool. Now that's the entirety of the second floor. Now there's other bedrooms. There's a whole guest apartment suite and wing that I didn't show you because there's a lot of house here. Look at this door, super, super crazy. Now let's go down to the entertaining floor, the fun floor. It's a theater downstairs. There's an indoor private pool. If you didn't like this video yet, please like it right now. If you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe. Let's go, let's go downstairs. Now we could have taken the elevator, but you know, I like the stairs. At the bottom of the main staircase, we have our dance hall. This is great for parties, this is great for kids. You can put train tracks here, kick balls around, or actually like legitimately dance. You can dance recitals in here. So follow me this way. We go into fitness room one, cardio equipment. We have the gym over there, it's the formal gym but then you've got your indoor pool here. Now no house would be complete without an indoor pool, right? You've got your massive outdoor pool, which we're gonna see, but this is your indoor pool that matches in shape the octagonal conservatory that we saw at the beginning of this tour. Insane. And for who's still counting TVs, remember that's a thing? Count TVs, count penguins, boom. Not a TV in the indoor pool. You can never have too many TVs. You'd think that these owners maybe owned a TV company. Who knows? Who knows? You've got your locker room, steam, everything. I mean, it's just like insane. Totally, totally crazy. Now off this side, are you kind of getting the idea? Now most people have like movie theaters, right? Private cinemas. Now, this is like a real theater. This is where the kids come to put on performances, you can do music, recitals, and the family sits and they clap and applaud for all the kids. You can do anything in here. I never show mechanicals in houses or laundry rooms, but this house, I have to show you the laundry room and I have to show you one thing in the mechanicals and then we're gonna go outside. Now I know what you're thinking. Ryan, why'd you take me to a laundromat? I didn't. This is the laundry room in this house. Table for folding, also for doing arts and crafts. Carving pumpkins, painting, making a mess. You got a linoleum floor. You can go to town. You have a whole separate refrigerator, sink, storage, everything. So many things. But then follow me under the house. And we never go under the house. This is like back of house. I kind of feel like, and we can get lost down here, so let's not get lost, but this is like under the White House. This is insane. And if you follow me, follow me, follow me. 
The mechanical systems down here in this private house are insane. I have never seen anything like this in a private home ever. This is the water pulled from the well system. This is the greatest water in all of New York coming into this house all labeled appropriately for everywhere that it goes. This is zone eight hot water supply. That's zone two hot water return. Everything is here. This system, I like, is Disney World above us? Crazy, crazy. I just think this is super cool. I've never seen a mechanical system set up this way. Obviously there's a huge generator here. In storms, big storms, like, people will come to this house to feel safe. That's how cool this place is. A thousand ways to get out here, but I like that door. Conservatory is here. All of this outdoor space is perfectly, perfectly maintained. It's like, this is a great house to raise a family. This is a great house to come and be private too. A lot of places in the Hamptons are on really, really small lots. And remember, this is four acres. Everything out here is fully irrigated, fully lit. And let me take you down to the pool and the pool house. Now right on the other side over here, you have a separate structure, which is your carriage house. It's 1,500 square feet, totally separate apartment upstairs, which is great for guests. Three car garage underneath. So in total, you have parking for lots and lots of cars, but covered, you've got about six, at least six. And then, voila, your outdoor pool, because no Hamptons estate, and that's really what this is, is perfect without a massive 50-foot outdoor pool. And it's just gorgeous. You've got these high hedges, this amazing pool house with bathrooms, an outdoor kitchen, even more storage. And then look at this view back at your convention center. I'm sorry, your estate, your house. 22,300 square feet and counting. Nine formal bedrooms, 19 bathrooms in total. That massive kitchen with three sinks, two turbo chef ovens. You've got the theater, you've got the media room. You've got that 4,000 square foot primary suite with two walk-in closets, two bathrooms, and two home offices. All this outdoor space, all the covered garages, the grounds, the four acres, the two pools, the one outside, plus you've got the indoor pool, you've got the dance hall, you've got the two gyms, both for cardio and for weights, and I could go on and on and on, but this is 111 Meeting House Road in Quayog in the Hamptons, a gorgeous new listing of ours at Sir Hans. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.